the laws of correspondence of vibration, polarity, and rhythm come into play when you talk about the meaning of life and happiness. We make our happiness dependent on what other people can do for us instead of what we can do for ourselves. You know, the, there's a concept they don't teach you in school. It's called enough. Sometimes what is enough for one person may not be that way for somebody else. And we want more. And when you want more, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Because not always will you get more. Sometimes you do, but it's not all the time. I don't know who told us on this planet that everything is going to go our way. Sometimes things will go your way. Sometimes they won't. We've got to learn to accept this. That's the rhythm and the flow of life. All of life is filled with possibilities. And when you see possibilities, well, it allows you to accept failures as not final. Failures are learning lessons. The American Indians, the Hopi Indians, in the Southwest, well, they have a belief. Every day they wake up and pray to the Great Spirit, and they say, oh, Great Spirit, allow us today, this day, to make 20 mistakes. You see, they believe that by making mistakes, by failing, you actually learn more. You add to this wonderful fountain of wisdom that is called you over a period of time. And if you don't fail, they say, you don't learn anything. So how many times have you failed? I know I have failed a lot. But over the course of the years, I did also knew something that was different. And that was that I was responsible for my own happiness. I knew that there was laughter everywhere. But I also knew that if I wanted to participate, that laughter has to come from inside, not from outside. And that's the nature of spirit. And that's the nature of who you are. And that's the meta secret to everything possible.